that's always been my problem too, that yeah. first move. The first step to getting there is taking that hitch away. Again, you don't have to make these crazy manipulations to try to get it back to square. That's the big miss. That's right the there, miss. Right? The very first move you made. What, and, what's wrong? And you said it originally, right? As soon as you take it back. Yes, so there, I don't need right? to do that. So that club face is super close. Okay. So what I want you to do is just take that, stand, stand in there. Okay. Take that club back to about here just, in the back swing. Just okay. kind of pause. Okay. So that's ideal, right? That's what ideal I want. would be there. Ideal is? Yeah, just okay. slightly close, right? Okay. Not, not quite toe up, just yeah. slightly close. But as soon as you take it back, your tendency is to is to take it back. Yeah, it is like that, right? That's right. Or to close it down. All right, slower. So for you to feel what you're needing to feel, maybe you want to feel toe up, right? Toe up on the way back. Okay. And that's going to help square that club face into the ball because you're not in this crazy strong position All right. immediately. Wow! Look at that. And honestly, what I would love to see is like a one piece takeaway from you. And what I mean by that show me, show me. is instead of yeah. immediately uh -huh. hinging those wrists, you talking about just, I'd rather see you take it okay. back kind of like just this with your body, right? Just to sweep back. So not eat, look, so I'm gonna hold on to it. I'm just gonna okay. kind of move and I want you to rotate your body. Okay, so start to rotate even less until you get to about here and then you can start the hinge, right? So don't hinge till I get to here. That's right. So right. you're your natural tendency is as soon as the club goes back, mm -hmm. it's to hinge. Right? You know why I'm doing that? I'm well, trying to get it where I want it <laughs> and then just turn. <laughs> yeah. It don't work though. So what I want you to do is just rotate your body back. Kay. And as you rotate, just kind of, so one piece takeaway, meaning instead of as soon as you take it away doing this, yeah. I want you to take it away by okay. rotating your shoulders and your body. Without a ball, I okay. want you to take a couple of back swings where you feel like, and I want you to pay attention as much as you can to the butt of the club, so right here. Mm -hmm. I want you to pay attention to this. I want this to be pointed at your at your belly button until it gets parallel with the ground, right? So even slower, 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 super slow. And I want you to, so go back down. Dang. So go back all the way down. Right. I don't want the club to go any further than this. So see how your natural reaction is to, Why? to cock those What's wrists. Going on? It's just natural for you. Dang it's just it. what you naturally want to do. So try to feel like. Don't see that this that hinge there. Yeah. Try to feel like it's more there. Okay. Right. So no hinge. Minimal hinge. Right. Is that it. Yep. Yeah. I'm just. Better. I'm not doing anything. Right. That's just... better. Way better. Yep. Because your natural tendency is when you first start, yeah. it's just to hinge it bad, right? And what that does is it closes the club face way down. And then to get it back to square, you've got to make these manipulations back here to try to get it back to square, which is hard to do. Yeah, right? it's rough. So man. it's easier just to try to keep it square all the way through right. as opposed to get it super closed and then somewhere along the way, try to get it back to square. So toe up, one, one piece move. So even less risk hinge than that. There you go. So I don't, I don't want you to feel like you're hinging your wrists until that club gets here. So watch my watch my wrist, right, watch my wrist angles here. Am I hinging it? I don't feel like I am. Oh, I am. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's it, right? So there's some. Wow, that's so weird. go down slow or yeah. go back. So you'll feel some forearm rotation, right? Mm -hmm. Not wrist hinge. Kay. So these forearms are going to rotate, uh -huh. and your wrist is not going to hinge. So there's some forearm. It's, and this is pretty neutral right here. Yeah, so. exactly. So try this. To take it back, I want these, the, your forearms here. Yeah. What I want is them to rotate. Right? Rotate open. So my wrists are not doing much. It's it's essentially this. So do this, Chris. So just without, yeah. without the club, just put your hands together like this. And I want you to do this. So that's forearm rotation, right? Okay. So as soon as you take the club back, instead of doing this, this is your tendency. It is. I want you to do this to All take right. the club back, okay? So <laughs> forearm rotation without the wrist hinge. God, that's hard, So man. it's forearm rotation. So essentially I'm doing this on the way back. Yeah. Right? I'm just rotating those forearms to get that toe up without the wrist hinge. 
And the way you're taking the club back is all wrist hinge, all right. no forearm rotation. So you don't have any forearm rotation on the way back. Is that is that right or no? That's better. Now now do that, but take the wrist hinge out of it until later on, right? This it's hard. this, yeah. and then from here, that's when you're gonna start the wrist hinge, right? So just go back to here and pause. So parallel, shaft parallel with the ground. So go back to here, and then from there, you're gonna start the hinge, right? So stop it right here where all this is, is forearm rotation. That's a great forearm rotation, okay? And then from there, you can start to really hinge up. To get that forearm rotation, watch, watch how much my body rotates. My hips, right? Yeah. To get to where that club to there, you're just kind of going like this. Yeah, I am. Right? So stop it right here. So even lower, there you go. And at this point, your hips should be starting to rotate back towards the camera, right? So you're taking it back with all wrist, no body, yeah. right? And then you're trying to put the body into it. And then on the way down, now it's look where closing. my club face is, right? What's happening to your swing is within a split second of you taking the club back, that club face is so close, Golly. it's so hard to get back to square. Okay. So if you can just rotate that body back, there you go. So this club face position, great. That's it. Right? So we kind of wanted to point, even, even out. with that blue line at okay. this point, yeah. it doesn't need to be so far back here. Okay. Just kind of there. All right. So if you could get it to here with a little bit of hip rotation, so rotate, if you could get it to right here, it'd be perfect. Okay. Right? That'd be absolutely perfect. So this structure looks great. Again, just stop right here and try to get that club, there you go, right okay. in there. Just, just back, there you go, it's perfect. So the catcher's mitt, yep. yeah. So if you could get that position straight away and not close that club face down immediately, you're gonna put yourself in such a better position all the way throughout the swing to where, you, again, you don't have to make these crazy manipulations to try to get it back to square. At the moment of impact there, that club face oh, yeah. is oh, right yeah. in there, yeah. right? So that's what we've got to fix is the club face. If we can get that club face to point at the target, you're going to hit some really beautiful shots. But it all starts with this takeaway, right? <laughs> the second you take it away, currently, you're so closed that you have no chance within that swing. So the takeaway for you is so important. And it's not so much even that, right? It's this initial takeaway where you feel like this shaft is lined up with that alignment rod yes, and this toe is just up, right? So that's the position you've got to get into because currently what you do is uh, this, yes, yeah. right? Yeah, and, I just, and I swing out. So it creates this draw and I got to exactly. figure out how, how, to, how to control a curveball. Just rehearse that takeaway a couple more times. Perfect. That's all you need right there every time. There so you, you want to go straight, like catch, yes. straight to the catcher. That's exactly right. Okay, and then from this point, after you get to there, now you can start to go up and around, right? But because your natural tendency is to immediately cock those it's, wrists. It's, it's right? screwing myself from the beginning, right? Oh man, you're closing that club face down immediately. And then from there you have almost zero chance. There's a chance to manipulate it back to square, but, yeah, but it's really hard. The first step to getting there is taking that hitch away, that initial um, hitch you've got, right? So like you say, straight back to the catcher's mitt. So smooth tempo and try to think about that takeaway, right? Back to the catcher's mitt, toe up. No idea where it went. Oh, dead straight. Did it? I can't oh, see it. Oh, dead straight, that's a perfect shot. Okay. See it? Yeah, I didn't, I, but I lose it. <laughs> You're too busy looking, looking well, left. Well, because I'm looking over there. I'm looking know, for right? the curve. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that was that was a great takeaway, great okay. tempo, and All you right. made great contact, right? 